Here we have the first experiment. So back in this area are my antenna and ground wires. And you can see the black are the ground and the yellow is the antenna. These two radios, so why I've got this secondary radio on here is these are actually the same radio. So it has the air core capacitor, same over here. I'm only using one bank, uh, so that goes from roughly zero to 365 uh, picofarads. Same over here. Uh, they're both using the same diode, the same earphone circuit. And these two coils are exactly comparable, only this one has been wound with very small wire, 31 gauge. And this one is, uh, what is it? It is 0.81, I think, millimeters. So, uh, and this is 0.227, if I recall correctly. So I've got this one hooked up to uh, my antenna ground system right now. And I've just been running comparisons to these. And what I found is kind of interesting. So right now I am listening to one station. It's a little bit scratchy, but you can see it there on the scope. And let's tune through the stations. And still the same station, same station. Seems to cover the background. Okay. Getting into the next station. That is the guy talking with music in the background. Sounds like an ad. And yeah, that's the loud station in the neighborhood. And then there's another station. So what is that? One, two, three, and four. And the interesting thing about this coil is it covers on the covers on the transistor radio from a little over 100 on the dial to. Uh, somewhere about 60, 600 kilocycles. So yeah, it's not, it's not perfect. It probably means I've got too much uh, capacitance and maybe not quite enough inductance. So it's not reaching each range. Uh, but yeah, so this is perfectly acceptable. This radio gets about four and a half stations and this is doing pretty much the same. It's getting four stations pretty well. This one is a little scratchier. The sound is a little scratchier. Um, this one, the sound is a little more melodic. But uh, last night I was actually getting six stations on this one when I can only get four on this. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's what, what the conditions are, why it would do that. But in any event, my guess is that these two coils are roughly the same and this would be totally acceptable if you were looking for a smaller radio as opposed to a bigger one. Um, this one, it has a little bit better sound in my opinion. The quality of sound is a little better. The, this one's a little bit scratchier. So, but again, you know, this is totally usable. So what we know is that this core is exactly the same size as this core because they were cut off the same piece of pipe and the, uh, the uh, coil windings have been ratioed and done calculations to be exactly equivalent. So we know that the uh, size of the wire is not the issue when it came to this bobbin thing not working. So the next experiment is to vary one of the other parameters and see if that causes the, the uh, coil to misfire. Okay, so again, summary on this experiment, uh, given the core is the same size, the diameter of the wire can be much smaller and it still works okay. So diameter of the wire was not the factor that caused the bobbin winding not to work. Okay, next experiment.